Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to, to me, Hillian, along with... Test one, two. Damn it. Drake here! I, I tried to make snore sounds, but then Mike did not pick up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so fail joke there. <laughs> yeah, and... Yeah, Mr. Kier. Well, and welcome back to Techno Mage Return of Eternity, where hopefully we'll be getting out of the fairy forest this time. So, yeah, here we go. Now, let's see. Uh, last time we, we arrived, well, we didn't arrive in the fairy forest, but we arrived at Jelen uh, after getting a shrinking potion and getting through Shard Jelen and their beetle race. Uh, so now we are at the fairy capital, and we were asked to capture five uh, poisoned bees. I think of which we have three already. I so, think you've yeah. forgotten something, Helian. Hmm. Oh, right. Give me a sec. Up, upsize that. Is that better? Much better. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for what anyone wondering what that was... Uh, I, I st hmm. To give Drakir uh, live footage of the game, I st uh, stream my what I stream OBS to him uh, over Discord. Uh, by uh, yeah, I'm also giving him the game audio by having it set to monitor, well, the game audio, which gives which allows him to give live commentary and well see everything that all of you can see as well, you know, if there are any of you. <laughs> Yeah, and the problem is, I, I tried to watch it through Twitch. The problem is, first of all, buffing, buffing, buffing. And, of course, it actually takes whatever Cillian, I hear Cillian say here, takes 10 minutes to happen on stream. Uh, not 10 minutes, but still a, a good oh, wait, 30 no, no. second delay. No, hmm? Not 10 minutes, I meant 10 seconds. <laughs> Yeah. Like ten minutes. Like, that that'd be horrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm at ten seconds. Ten to uh, ten to twelve. But yeah, that, that was enough for me. Like, nope. Do this to Discord instead, like he does now. Gives me an actual direct uh, live feed. And what I just did earlier was to full screen it, so that uh, well the. <laughs> The uh, part that shows the active stream going on, as well, that is uh, a lot bigger, so he can see things a lot more clearly. Now, where the hell are those freaking bees? They are all outside, and I thought I went... I, I actually forgotten which direction we went first, uh, if we were went clockwise or counterclockwise. What do you call it all? Uh, not all of them, because it's it isn't tagged off yet. Um, I think we talked to you. Have you heard the sad story of Heliana, our princess? She has fallen into a deep. De yeah, we have heard that one. Actually, we can yep. just jump over here. I can't imagine you falling. You'll be off uh, the building and <laughs> fall down to the ground. Yeah, so far that hasn't happened here yet, so let's try and see if we can keep it that way. To, well, save me at least one embarrassment. <laughs> My platforming. <laughs> uh, even if it is as simple as stay on the freaking platform. Hmm. You should probably do a, a book of embarrassment for you. <laughs> Along with the book of grudges, book of pride, book of joy, book of laughter, and book of total fail. I was thinking about uh, possible things. Uh, I already showed that uh, VTuber Plus system to you, and I'm thinking of what sort of things I would put into that as custom throwables uh, if slash when we, uh, well, get to have redeemables with Twitch, for which we Easy. have to hit affiliate state first. And Easy. Easy. Hmm. Hmm. We would okay, there must be something, access, huh? 
spiked balls, cannonballs, <laughs> bombs, waffles. Yep, yep oh. come on. Yeah, I was thinking of trying to add in a th at least one thing from each game that we've streamed recently. So, I'm thinking Pearls from Beyond Good and Evil. And hello, Noon. <laughs> he is back to flirt with the fairies. <laughs> Actually, I don't um, think I heard Helium try to flirt with any, any character on stream. <laughs> and I mean characters, not play, uh, people. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get through this place now. Actually, have we spoken with you before? Corpac, the Archmage, held one of his light shows yesterday, even though the mood in the Dark Forest oh, yeah. and the Fairy Kingdom is hardly what you'd call cheerful. We already talked with her. With her. Uh, hmm. I get the feeling one of the bees is going to be flying out over here. So let's change our perspective a bit. And try these this way. So that we have a better judge of distance and don't have to bother with depth. There we go. And suddenly I'm becoming a lot better at the platforming in this game, huh? And there's no freaking bees over here. Two, one. Oh, oh almost, almost. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was good. Hmm. Dangerous, but good. We're still somewhere we've been before. So where is this? Or where is these lambs? Yeah, these last damned bees. Actually, I, I think I know where one of them might be. Uh, let's see what is saying chat. Noon senpai, I am a multi-talent. Uh, some tiny face. I can't make out. Yeah, he put that emote up yeah, before. On the when me, we were talking about uh, fl Melvin flirting with the fairies, yeah, but I but what emote is that? I can't, it's too small for me and unclear for me to see what it is. Okay, uh, it's a bit distorted on my end, but it's not one I recognize, I'll say that now, if I remember correctly. Yes, we can go out here, which we also could have gotten by just going up those stairs over there. And of course, oh we have to get stuck on the other end of the rails. Okay, okay. but we know uh, that one again? of the bees is here. The best and another familiar thing. Uh, no, what, what are you showing us? Is that a character, an animal, or what is it? <laughs> Uh, let's see, if there was a bee here, there's probably not going to be any around here. Hmm. Honestly, I would have... If I were to guess just by the uh, model alone, I would have guessed that those would have been the bees. But no, those are probably uh, fireflies, judging by, well, the light bulb up their ass. Okay, so it's, it's a streamer emote. Oh, okay. We still have this area. We don't have an, a bow and arrow. So, why do we get the feeling that the freaking lost bee is going to be over that way? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a situation where you need a bow. The question is, but where do we get it? Because I don't remember a thing about that. Do I'm sure they already started with that uh, little annoying trick. But you almost finish the quest and realize, oh, if you're gonna finish it, you need to get a quest item for another quest to be able to finish it. I've heard you did really well in your fight with the god. That's the third time we've talked with her. Um, let's see, the sequence of things. We need the bees to get the honey, and we need the honey to get the luck potion which allow us to get the mage's wand. And we need the mage's wand for the antidote potion. 
That's too... Could it just be that it's over back over here or something? At the very least, we might get some unique dialogue from bringing is some it, of the is bees. It, is it, is it, uh, never mind, it was just a fairy. Hooray! You've brought my bees back! Thanks, Melvin. At least I can sleep easily again now. Hey, don't blush. You deserve the praise. And at least take a little of this honey as a reward from me. So we did have all five of them, we just needed to return them. Is there a, is this a moment I t tell you I told you so? <laughs> well, didn't you didn't say that we had all the bees yet? Well, I did say, uh, didn't we get all them? Hmm. Let's see. We need to get to. Or, yeah, we need to head across now to the alchemist <laughs> and the oldest fairy in <laughs> all of the universe. <laughs> Uh, not that way, this way. Yeah, that that very makes it a little bit annoying because she blocks the entire path. <laughs> yeah, the, the only time I can think I can name three fairies I know that are old, and this one looks the oldest. Second one is probably the fairy from Disenchantment, same maker as Super, uh, Simpson, and the one that's probably at least youngest of these three. I don't know her name, but I've seen her, seen her in some clips of some anime called uh, Monster Review. It's okay. apparently had a lot of drama. Great! A fresh honeycomb full of honey is just what I need. Here, take this drink in payment. It is a secret potion I once made for Fiona to bring her good luck when she seemed to have nothing but bad luck. I haven't seen her much since, because she's always playing at something. It seems to have brought her a great deal of good luck in many ways. <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes no, it becomes a bit play. Yep. <laughs> what a strange Sorry. book. I don't know what... Yeah, despite all of the more adult moments in this game, or at least the adult hintings, there's, it's still very obvious that they are just layering some of the instructions or slash hints on so thick. <laughs> uh, let's see, we need to yeah. get across. Lot of Again. Uh, yeah, for noon, noon here, I only seen clips on YouTube. So there's very limitation, but I have heard people talk about it. So I, I know what it, Hulu just said, let's show it without double checking what it was all about and got in a lot of trouble for people for making an airing a Near hentai like anime. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect that. I suspect that. Says again, I doubt they show the wildest part on YouTube. I doubt they do that. But I don't know. I know I've seen a middle aged fairy that probably smoke. Oh, no, not when she does smoke, but more of she don't get enough sleep, according to her eyes. So, have you changed your mind? Do you want to play against me now? Okay, uh -oh. let's get started then. I'll show you how it goes. Oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I think we heard most of that already. And the rest is just bragging about awesome. her beating Horpak. Let's see if my... And yeah, they are spinning out of, out of sync. Hmm. What's happened? I'm gonna... I've lost. I can't believe it. I never lose. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm guessing the explanation here is that since you know, since the, the luck potion she, ha yeah, she has is older, that it's lost its potency or gotcha. some of it. I've won. And quite right, too. Unbeatable, are you? And what about that prize you promised me? He, he sounds so happy, but his portrait looks so freaking depressed. <laughs> yeah. I can't get over it. I've lost. Actually lost. There. Take the magic wand and get out of my sight. Let's see. Well, has he anything new to say? Sorry, Mel. I'm not playing with you anymore. Yeah, not so fun anymore when you, you can't always win, huh? All right. Oh dear. 
And then we need to go... Hmm. Okay, his place isn't actually... <laughs> The, the Archmage, for all his grandiosity, doesn't even get a mark on the map. <laughs> uh, I guess that shows uh, how little, uh, well, how annoyed uh, the fairies are by his, <laughs> by him. <laughs> yeah, and I would also be surprised he is grumpy because he is actually unable to flirt with them. Uh, which make it all the funnier because we you know, we suppose they do breed by <laughs> by screwing with other you know, species and I this guy is very much not a fairy so even though they need other men they need men from other species to procreate they like dislike him so much they will probably even touch him yeah they probably suspect that the the old spring might just be as bad or something. By the honor of the forest guardians, you've got my magic wand. Oh, it's so good to have it in my hands again. Thank you. But now I have to hide away for a while and do a bit of magic. Mel, I wish you well. Okay, were you trying to rhyme there? <laughs> okay, but I do believe that actually... We don't actually have anything to do at the moment. So, yeah, we need to go find something else to do, but I don't actually recall what. Find a bow? Hmm. It'll probably involve finding the bow somehow. Hmm. Uh, uh, go check the chat. Oh, yeah, he knows who, he knows who I talk about. Uh, the fair that runs the fun house. Okay. And you two talking He's about a show being run without the producers really on knowing it fully has reminded yep. me of uh, something with Sailor Moon. Uh, you've probably heard of the controversy where, oh, where they oh, changed no, the, I... uh, the lesbian characters into cousins. Yeah, I know that. That, 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 that just made the situation way worse. Yeah, because... Okay, I was, I was sort of waiting for you to finish it, but the reason it gets so much worse is because those characters start dating later on in the show. So then the censors had to find a way to explain uh, why are these cousins uh, kissing and going on dates and holding hands? Hillian, take a look at mm. the chat. Yeah, sweet home Alabama. Uh, yeah, like... It, it kind of fit. As I said, it's a moment of situation you feel like either they say you're hate lesbians, like, but at least back then there was probably a lot of that stupidity in USA still, but otherwise it's feel like replace lesbian with incest. It's because they hadn't I actually seen through the, sh the, <laughs> the series to where that would happen. So they, yeah. they, the censors wrote themselves into a corner. By trying to be, well, kid-friendly. Yeah, bloody idiots. Here in Jalan, there are many ropeways to take you from one platform to the next. All you have... Okay. No, for Monster Review, or what it is called exactly, it was more of... The, the anime was already made in Japan all. Just Hulu bought the license to send them on their service as well. Just they... They just didn't uh, do proper investigation what it was all was about. They just bought that random. Uh, yeah, just know what the hell you're getting yourself into before you get buyer's remorse. Yeah, I, I think I've seen one episode I looked up on myself to see if it was fun or so, but I just felt like uh, I ain't gonna give this up. For I feel like I would probably have to mute it a lot. Oh dear, what can I do? What can oh anyone dear. do? Okay. okay, we need to get one of those moonbeams in a jar, but we first there's need to get a jar. Yeah, yeah, the sensors at times. I get the point with sensors, but sometimes they're either extreme lazy, like here, or extremely, well, doing a bit too much. Hmm. Yeah, now, now that I look a bit more at it, 
the, the perspective is rather off because the way Mel is standing like this, you would think he's standing at the very edge of it. But no, he's standing a bit off from the middle. Hmm. I think this is a bit due to the cape. Yeah. Actually, the cape makes it look like he's standing further away than he actually is. It's more like that exactly. the, where the cape hits is where his feet are at this perspective. Hmm. Actually, I think I know what how we might get some progress. We need we need more of the. Let's see. We have a winter flower and a spring flower, as well as an, a no. A branch, yeah, an oak branch, and we know that one of the elemental, well, seasonal season mistresses, is in the tavern over here or the inn here. So let's see if we can chat with her and get one of her flowers. Uh, it's a hotel, Helian. Uh, inn. No, it says here it's an inn, and inns basically oh. were in you know, hotels as well. Um. Because, yeah, we do need a flower from each of the seasons. So, you'd like me to give you a flower of autumn? No problem. Take this dark green flower of autumn. It's bound to come in useful sometime. Well, that was easy. <laughs> then we only need a summer flower. But I don't think we have any idea where the hell the summer mistress is. Yeah, and also, I thought suspect that that there may be in two or three artists uh, making the uh, art icons for the faces. Uh, likely. For Mel has a very different from everyone else. And the main characters, the ones that seemed more important, definitely had someone else drawing them a bit more professionally. Hmm. But they are good, just, well, except for them that looks like uh, Nicola Cage fairies. Uh, with Melvin, I think his uh, his portraits are 3D work. So yeah, that do also he, helps he, set it apart. Yeah, do, but at some point he had his own drawn one early on. Hmm. But he looked a bit more look, uh, looking up with a smile or something. No idea what it switched to, well, the sad one. Uh, once we broke into the forest, I think. Hmm. And oh, yeah, yeah there's the poison mist. That's freaking close, huh? Uh, smell! Now, oh, actually, we haven't uh, gone over this way before. Actually, wait, you know, I think we got a clue from uh, noon. Prowl hmm. on the beach. <laughs> oh, hello. So. What do you want of me? I am the honorable guardian of these islands, and normally you wouldn't be allowed to see me. You seem to have some mysterious talents, and... I can tell by the way you smell that you have a freshly broken branch of a powerful oak on you. I can make you a bow from it. How does that sound? Of course I'd like a bow. Here, take this branch. I'm curious. Here it is, then. Your own special bow. It's an outstanding weapon, believe me. It'll shoot your arrows just where you want them. But make sure you've always got enough arrows on you. I can make some for you. Here, have some of these so you can try it out. I'm not sure I want to know how an ant basically makes uh, metal arrowheads, but yeah, that's how we get the freaking bow. It was easy and kind of odd. It, it sounded like we were visiting a western gunsmith. <laughs> just, re just replace the revolver with a bow. Uh, 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 am I just the one hearing it? Oh, uh, let's not try not to waste our arrows because by accidentally shooting it. But yeah, it does have a bit of a feel of that, uh, similar to that. 
Oh, so uh, I'm not just hearing things then. For it sounded like the, the wall. Uh, I've been in this as so bloody long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, no, I've always got the voice there by mistake. <laughs> well, he is stuck on an island, so he is basically stuck as well. And yeah. I don't think the bow is actually that useful for combat. Uh, but still, let's keep those arrows saved up. While we go look at uh, whatever is here. Oh, hello. Oh, and there's the Summer Fairy. I am Amber, the mistress of the summer. I'd be happy to give you one of my red flowers of summer, but I'm rather upset at the moment, as I've forgotten the melody to the Song of Summer. I'd really like to try and see if it would make Heliana laugh again. I have some songbooks with similar songs there on the shelf, but I just can't remember how the melody I'm looking for goes. But if we could find out how the songs of the seasons are composed, we could use that to find the melody for the Song of Summer. Come then, let us begin. The books are there on the shelves. Let's just have a look at how the other songs of the seasons go. And then, of course, we must practice the melody of the summer on the bright fairy flute over there. Would you do that for me? Well, I'm still looking for the melody to the song of the summer. We'll have another look at the other songs of the seasons again. They should all be based on the same principle. And don't forget to practice the melody of the summer on the fairy flute. Again, laying it on so thick. Uh, I actually don't have any clue of how I originally beat this. And uh, hey there in the chat, uh, Snurkler94. I'll, I'll probably just call you Snurk Snurk. <laughs> or Snurk Slur. Snurk. Let's see. Uh, uh, Snurk Slur. Not... Yeah, Snurk Slur. Yeah. Yeah, let's not go with Snurk Slur, for that's something else. <laughs> let's see. Song of Autumn, would you like to hear it? Let's see. The song of Autumn oh, sounds melancholy and goes like this. Red, green, green, blue. Okay. Uh, what? That's, that sounds like a really weird song. Let's see. R, G, G, B. Okay, there is a principle to all four of the songs we, we need to decipher. Song of Spring. Spring is sounds like the song of the bird in spring. Okay, blue, green, green, red. All of them is going to be with green, green in the middle. Also, it, it's got to be pretty here. <laughs> it's got to be pretty uh, humiliating for a fairy to, for, well, for a seasonal mistress to forget her own song. Ooh. Fairy songs. Yeah, it's another. Is. Let's see. Fairy songbook for harpists and uh, shakuya play, uh, shaku shakuhashi players. Texas is shakuhashi. That sounds eastern. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. Uh, uh, do you know those uh, interesting guitar sounds you may hear from Japanese movies and anime? Yeah, the, the very, the rather high pitched ones. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's the, that's the one. Okay, did not expect I, I, to I, uh, get those mentioned here. I get. I think I could be wrong. I'm not an instrument expert, so I could be wrong. Uh, I think uh, Miracle of Sound used one of those for. Let's see. I this the the song is called When Honor Dies, but I forget specifically oh. what the name of the game is. Hmm. But yeah, just just Google I, uh, just I Google that, game. and you'll get the, the game. game. <laughs> you get the right song. I know the game. Oh, the Honor Dies is a good song. The game is called Ghost of... Uh, the Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima? I almost said Hiroshima. That was the wrongest place. Tsushima, <laughs> yes. That would have been a bit of a, a different game. <laughs> Ghost of yeah. Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, winter is green, blue, blue, green. Okay, so the summer of... Summer... Or this, <laughs> the song of summer is probably going to be red 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 uh, in the middle and just to look again here the fairy song book for harpists and shakuhaki players song uh, yeah. 
Harp songs to Susan called Bridge Trolls, The Troll March, Ballad for Jackal, Don't Pay the Bridge Troll Yet Until He Lets You Over to the Other Side, Shakuhashi songs for all seasons, Winter Wonderland Shoop Shoop Ballad, <laughs> Spring Jig from Hesia, uh, Autumn, a duet for Shakuhashi and Harp. That sounds probably very interesting. Mm. Now then, uh, let's try this. Yeah, come on. No, nope. no, that's still not the right melody. It doesn't match the season at all. In our musical philosophy, the seasons have colors which also appear in the melody. The summer is red, for instance, like the flower of the summer. We need to find the form of the melody of the summer from the other songs. Try again. Okay, so not that. And uh, try not to break them. <laughs> Still not the right melody. It doesn't. Okay. No, no. Yeah. That's still not the right melody. It... Hmm. Actually, let's see. Uh, autumn is red, green, green. Actually, I think it. No. Autumn is. Yes, Summer is red. That's it. That's the right melody. You're a genius, Melvin. And so patient, too. Amazing. Here. Take this red flower of summer you asked me for. Oh. Yeah, the way to decode it is to it has to start it has to uh, start with the color of the previous uh, season and end with the color of the next season. And since both, both spring and uh, autumn use green, it's green, red, red, green. And plus we oh. we also just brute forced our way through it anyways. <laughs> Oh, sure, that counts as brute force and more of random blowing. Now, we Wait. knew that red was the middle part, so from there it was just seeing uh, if in which order these had to be used, if at all. Yeah, and also, don't take random blowing out of context, people. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary. Especially you, Helian. It's all been too much for me. If I don't get some rest soon, I will not only forget all the melodies, I'll go out of my mind. Okay, so we've got um, squeezed bodies, uh, attempted lynchings, uh, <laughs> a suicidal fairy, and now one that's likely to have a nervous breakdown as well. Yeah, no, I just realized something. Of all the uh, seasonal fairies, is she the only one that did not flirt with you? Uh, basically, probably because she's about to have a mental collapse. But uh, yeah, we can use it again. Ages three and up. Yeah, that's going to be a meme. Age three and up. Besides that, I believe all of this. I believe all of the seasonal mistresses were nude except for the plants covering them. That means they are not nude. You've beaten your own logic. How does that feel? Uh, all right, that still leaves us without anything to do at the moment, though. But there is something behind the, well, they call it a palace, but it isn't really that big. It's the biggest building around, but it's still not really a palace. Oh, dear. And again, uh, when we have... typically think palaces, we think more stoneworks and such. But they're all fairy, so... True. Yeah, it is the fanciest place. Uh, the game, I pray the game not gonna go into something similar to Washington. Uh, what? Uh, the show? Robo oh, Chicken? Robot Chicken, I thought you... Robot was... Chicken. I, I yes. almost thought that you said something in Swedish. No, no. If I said in Swedish, it would be Robot Herna. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's actually go back to the magic users. See if a uh, horror pack has uh, figures it, figured his shit out. Since well, we'll be giving him the uh, flowers that he needs for his magic, or for his antidote. 
And from, well, if he doesn't what need us at the moment, I don't know what to really do, do next. Well, that took you long enough, oh. didn't it? Finding all the ingredients for the potion. I can't be bothered. It's only a game to me. Here's your antidote potion, but you must find a royal smile to bring it up to full power. Don't try using it otherwise. I don't know where you'll find such a smile, but that's your problem. Dick. No wonder why no one likes him. And all right, but all right, that's what means into the info in the chat. About yeah, the, game. I saw. the English sync is very bad compared to the German one, but the German one is the original deal, so that does make sense. And yeah, I think I'm does. remembering something here. Yeah, and I think you said something wrong again. Unless mm -hmm. I misheard you. Did, uh, what did you accidentally call the Archmage a war master? No, I I called him a dick, at the very least. Hmm. I thought we could find a glass or a crystal jar somewhere. And I thought it was supposed to be in here, but apparently not. Hmm. Anything else to say? Hey, can't you see I'm working? Get out of here! This is top secret! Dick. Mm. Prick. You can't use this yet, I believe. This machine looks interesting, though. What an unusual design. Something is missing, isn't it? Maybe I should try once again later. Yeah, it, it might. It, I, I don't know German enough to really uh, appreciate the original, probably, but it, I'd still say that this version is still pretty clippable. Oh dear. Oh! Uh, I can't read it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Snuck. No, I can't no back see. Seating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but your, what's your opinion about backseating? Uh, Very well, strange. A yeah, you're free to help along because, well, I've already played through this game, so it, there won't be what spoilers for book. me. I don't... Uh, just, yeah, just don't do uh, spoilers and we'll be good. Because I know yeah. I need to get that jar next and to get the moonbeam, to get the royal smile. For some reason, royal this place smile. always felt like a... Bit of a church to me here, even though it, the altar would be a pair of barrels. <laughs> Actually, I believe she also works as a shop. But what is really driving me mad is Horpak, that arrogant fool. Instead of helping us, he's experimenting with a light organ. If you ever manage to beat that bragging big head, I'd really reward you well. I could give you a special ray glass, for instance which Merivan once asked me to make. That magician is just a buffoon. Okay, so I was partially right in remembering to uh, go back here for this. You know, or, well, to get a ray glass, but it just means you know, we just need one extra step, which is to challenge the dickhead to a light show duel. Big Odin. Yeah, I, I agree with this nut, nut show. What? <laughs> Uh, take a re look what he wrote. Yeah, bro, that voice of Lonely Sarah sounds like a 20 year old. Yeah, I, I, I almost fell off. Yeah, don't fall off. But yeah, I, I actually commented uh, on that uh, last year said that uh, she sounds way too young compared to that face. Yeah. He just feels awkward. Oh, he has moved. Are you still ready for a duel, man to man? Oh, the fairies dear. say you're quite good when it comes to light effects. I think... Nope, I, I accidentally skipped part of that, sorry. You wish to challenge me? You must be joking. Okay, I suppose I'd better show you who the master is around here. Watch! I'm very impressed. Wouldn't you rather practice a bit first? Well, I'm not exactly a beginner either. Get ready. 
Well, he is exactly a, a beginner, but uh, he has a bit of a trick up his sleeve with that gear he can put in this thing. So, uh, enjoy the show. Uh oh. Well, what have you got to say for yourself now, oh great archmage and wizard? That wasn't bad, was it? It's pretty simple by today's standards, but back in the day that was pretty impressive, I believe. Oh yeah, and um, wait, archmage and wizard? Has, has that guy been bragging out without realizing he was over bragging? Yeah, that's the point of being a bragger, or that's the whole thing with braggers. They they keep bragging so much they start to actually believe their own bullshit. I can't believe it. You've won. Here, take this yellow crystal as a prize. I bought it from a nomad who was passing through here with his caravan a few weeks ago. It looks very interesting, and is undoubtedly very old. It also seems to be of some value as a stranger came into our town a few days ago looking for me and the crystal. But his aura was badly fractured, so I sent him packing. Take it as a source of finance to fall back on during your journey. You never know when you might need it. There's nothing wrong with your aura anyway. I don't recall aura being mentioned much anywhere else, uh, much if anywhere in this game. And uh, you can take a guess at what that crystal is. Oh. Bloody. I again forgot about the effect. I knew this crystal would have the same effect on me as the green one. I knew it! I felt it, literally, when Horpak took it out. The crystals belong together, and they seem to activate something. There must be more of them. But where is this machine? And who are the priests hiding underneath those hoods? They don't look like anyone I've met in Gothos so far. And these symbols? I've seen something like it before. But where? I simply must find out everything about these crystals. They are literally an eye-opener. Yeah, I definitely need to go put up some uh, flashing warning signs uh, or flashing light signs about those things when I upload them to YouTube, finally, which I'm still behind on. Actually, I, I have a... Yeah. Hmm? Is it still flashing? No. You sure? I only see white. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, I have a long used... weekend coming up anyway, so I could use that to finally try and get uh, to catch up with the uploads. Well, wait, didn't you say you should start trying to have them uploading while you're away on at work? Yeah, I say I have a long weekend coming, so I can upload them then whilst at home. Yeah, all right, I just mentioned that I heard you said in some earlier days that you thought of uh, doing that. Uh, what working? Hmm. Yeah, which would probably be a bit of a bad idea. Oh no, not you again. Arguing with Lana Chara would be more entertaining. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to clip out that line, or at least the first part. I will give him credit for conceding defeats uh, reasonably honorably. Yeah, if he's uh, still a dick. Wait. Wait, what do you mean with, with uh, oh no, snork? Snork? I believe the light effects, probably. I I'm honestly okay. surprised that the cinematics work so well, uh, as is. Yeah, and before people panic, I don't have epilepsy. However, I, my, I do get annoyed with flashing lights, and I get headaches from it, and I'm a bit light-sensitive in that matter, but yeah, I... Don't get epilepsy attacks. 
So you really managed to beat Horpak in a fight? At, at his favorite light games, too! Amazing! It serves him right. Here, take this ray glass I made for Maravan once. Apparently, you can use it to catch sunbeams and moonbeams. Okay, now I, now I just got the, the silly picture in my mind of a fairy playing a laser tag. Uh-oh. That actually be terrifying or otherwise, in a way, kind of correct in some cases. Uh, it would depend on if the fairy would have a fairy-sized uh, <laughs> uh, light gun and pack, or a norm it would have to try and fly around with normal-sized ones. Or they fly around with ones that shoot magical beam. Well, I guess you could say, say that any fight with a fairy is then a glide game. Yep. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the game did not freeze, don't worry. Yeah, again, on the cinematics, uh, a lot of these old games used to run their cinematics in Bink, I believe, which is pretty much defunct by this moment, uh, by now, as in it's, well, it's not used anymore by any big companies and such, I believe. And Bink just does not always want to work, and it's definitely resolution locked, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Don't kill the bu Okay, this is just the, another case of where we need to use it from the inventory. Uh oh. Do we have adopted? 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 that. <laughs> Abduction! I'm pretty sure Melvin isn't adopted <laughs> since, well, he is a, a hybrid of two species that... <laughs> I guess it was my turn this time to butcher a word badly with stuttering and blurring and whatnot. Uh. <laughs> I, 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 I hear, heard that giggle. Okay, now that uh, we had another laser show, uh, this way, up, up, we were. <laughs> I checked the map, even Widow, we could just easily see the crown tag there. Uh. You, you call it a laser show, I call it potential probing. <laughs> okay, Melvin's uh, close encounter of the uh, lunar kind, I guess, and hello. Oh, oh what dear. The... What can I do? What can anyone do? Okay, you just have the same lines even all the time. Since our princess is not well, I could not stand it any longer. I just had to come to the palace. I once worked on a machine for catching moonbeams. We were going to use them to inspire us to write romantic songs and poems. Okay. Uh, interesting ad adaptation. Or attempts. Nope, let, let's not try and murder them. I'm pleased you've managed to drive the goblins out of the area. That means I can be here with the princess. It's a pity my song hasn't helped our princess. <laughs> oh, it's all so sad. Okay, so again, we need to just use it. Also, uh, yeah, I'll just shut up for a bit and just use this. I can help the princess. I know how we can get her to smile again. I think you can do it, Melvin. No one can make our dear princess smile again. No one. No, everything I'm saying is true. And we're going to make her smile again by firing an orbital laser at her. Wait, what? What so the apparently, heck? apparently the cure for <laughs> apparently the cure for uh, depression is moonlight, which well, with how she was locked, how she 
didn't come get out of here it <laughs> it basically could have just meant she could have possibly been cured by just kicking her ass outside to get some freaking light <laughs> That, that that was only disappointing and awkward like what now then oh thank you uh could i ask you a favor perhaps i have an antidote potion which only your wonderful smile can make really effective we can use it to clean the rivers up again i'd like to try it as soon as possible to enter the dark forest and perhaps even save the whole fairy kingdom. So, would you smile for me? And again, it's Melvin who sounds depressed this time. Yeah, and Snuck. Many of the voice like this seems to be made by the same person, but all, some fairies that obviously all are made by different people. Just was one that pulled the longest straw to make most of them. <laughs> and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what the heck do you shoot her with? I understand you can't stay, Mel, even if I don't really know where your journey will take you. Now you must pass through the dark forest where the river poisoner lurks. I was always afraid he'd come back, and now he has. But as you've helped us so much, we won't let you go unarmed. Please take this special chainmail shirt from me. It will protect you against cuts and stabs. Put it on before you go into the dark forest. I really hope we'll see each other again. Uh, what? Take it from her? Uh, is that a mistranslation? No, I, <laughs> I think she just means to... Uh, to it's a different wording of accept uh, this, please. I think. Also, where the hell do fairies have metal work like this? Uh, good question. And yeah, that's another one of these that we have now. Chain no coat protects against cuts and stabs. I think it just generally lowers damage you take anyway. With yeah, Helmy wait. on his smile. Hope for better times has returned to our forest. Right. What also asks is, won't that chainmail thing break or kill you when you grow bigger again? Mel, I knew from the first moment there was a real hero inside you. Yeah, we'll just leave it up to fairy magic because uh, <laughs> the the boots of speed don't break either when we uh, resize. Yeah, it, it looks like you were about to have a seizure or something trying to um, yeah, process what you said over there when you have a tar. I did not think you could do that. I once worked on a machine for catching moonbeams. Oh, come on. We were All of them get a new line except for her. I'm so happy you've made our princess smile again, Melvin. For a character that only has like two lines, it, it's still a bit interesting to see so, that to see that she got a unique portrait. Yeah, and also, was they that a light version of laughing gas? I guess so. <laughs> Come on. I, I was also expecting it to make her smile and remember happy days and such. But that 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 just felt awkward. What we got instead? I guess uh, moonbeams are. Uh, what would you even call it? Uh, hmm. Laughing beam. No, I'm. I'm guessing. You, you, I'm guessing moonbeams are just pure dopamine for fairies. <laughs> So but let's just hope that we have a <laughs> at exact same time. You first. And let's just hope that uh, we haven't accidentally made uh, a royal moonbeam addict. Oh dear, Odin. Oh, um, and I was to say, 
I, I just pray no one gets an idea to put up uh, one of those mosquito lanterns in the forest. <laughs> zap, zap, zap. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, I hate the next part the most. Wait, what? Oh no. And there we go, one river cleansed. Or at least the mist we've gotten rid of. <laughs> good so far yeah we've still got to deal with this place and act deal with the source of the problem and I've forgotten about those things he's rambling motherfuckers but uh, are we being fighting Nurgle well Nurgle would be a very good fit with all of this <laughs> all of this gunk oh Are those flying anglerfish? No, I'm pretty sure they're meant to be just plain piranhas. Also, I can see why they call it the Dark Forest, since every the place is filled with corpses. Yeah, though, it's a, apparently it's supposed to just be a... Like an autumn forest? So there will be orders and all that, but... Yeah, it seems whatever came here just... Really corrupted it. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that it's all of the bones are probably all of the animals that used to be here. So, yeah, let's just get the hell out. Because we do have to go and find the river poisoner and deal with it. Okay. I'm going to be sticking with the maze for... Actually, I... Yeah, I only now realize we forgot to check if the fa we forgot to fa you know, check if uh, the fairy Agatha had uh, actually worked as a shop or not. I'm pretty sure she would have, and she probably would have had a magic box to sell. Return? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But we can actually have a look. Actually, I don't but think we saw a platform to. Yeah, I, I, I think say, we're stuck. I would say it would be poor game design if we can't return. And we've gotten poisoned. Yeah, of course. And even though we have so many freaking health potions, we only have two anti-venom potions left. Also, these things remind me of uh, one of the, the first boss uh, from uh, House of the Dead uh, 2. You played it? Yeah, I've not played it. I, I, actually, I think I might have played it on at an arcade, like over twenty years, yeah, no, twenty years ago or something. And You're this is the way to go. <laughs> and yeah, I know that game's reputation for <laughs> being such an absolutely uh, that at, at the same time horrendous and hilarious uh, translations. Or voice work, at least. Oh dear. I, I don't remember many games I played in Arcane, but I do know there was one ga arcade game I, for years, tried to remember, for I really liked it. And I actually learned which it was later, uh, there some years ago. Okay. Primal <laughs> Rage. Okay, I, I've heard of that. Hmm. It, uh, I guess it is. I kind of hope that the, whoever owns the rights may remake it. For it, it kind of has a potential to make a good movie in, in a way. Okay. And it does have comic books. Hmm. I think there might have been a, a movie that released recently that was based on a similar game, I think. Rampage? Yeah. Yeah. No. Normally, I like when they make a game movie that they try to stick to the source material, but Rampage is one of the games you should avoid being too close to source material for. Otherwise, 
Rook would be t the one turning into a monkey and eating people. Yeah. That, that, that would change the movie's context rapidly. It'd be like a mixture of King Kong meets uh, Frankenstein or the thing. Yeah, but also would particularly make, if they had done like that, would me particularly make Rock a cannibal. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure we can swap this one out for a bit. Because, uh, yeah, these creatures are, these creatures are poisonous themselves, so attacking them with poison isn't going to do much. All right. Nope. We can leave that face hang hanging high and dry. Okay. I don't want to know what these things are actually throwing at us. Uh, fruits not. Uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. Just bile and... Okay, I, on the last jump I slip off, there... There's not actually nothing over there. Why would... Okay. Oh, dear. Like, I, 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 I kind of hope we return to the fairies once we're done here. For reward or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will show up, so I'm not sure if we're, we'll actually be able to act or not. But how many are they? Yeah, but, not but, anymore. But those things look like a beast of Nurgle. Just missing maggot hair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be able to animate that even if they wanted to add that in. Oh, they, they could easily just... It would not be in the same liveliness as uh, the one from To the Warhammer. Okay, there we go. Heal up again with the 40 <laughs> freaking combined potions. Okay, I missed one. Now, where was that? I saw one of the spawn points somewhere around here, or a respawn point. Oh no, we may attack by Sue Streaming! <laughs> yeah, this Actually, one is still somehow wrong. alive. Uh, uh, wait, uh, repeat that, please? Though somehow did, <laughs> with these are still somehow alive. Yeah, that actually would be terrifying, wouldn't it? Like, just imagine, you open a can of Zeus drumming, which is horrible enough to begin with, only to realize the, the fermented fish is still alive. Yeah. As a zombie. Yeah, it probably would smell like a zombie already. It actually was maybe worse than a regular zombie to begin with. And I... I... I not smelt Zeus drumming, but I have come in contact with a dead fish before that I picked. I was trying to catch something with a net that I caught a dead fish with a bullet hole in his forehead. Okay. <laughs> when did uh, Sweden turn into Texas? Uh, the wrong kind of bullet, like, like an air gun. They're like a small, tiny lead bullet that you use for practice. Okay. But apparently. And my twin uh, used to shoot in the lake for some damn reason. And I think some people told him to. Yeah, I think people told him to not do that. And yeah, I think the fish was a victim of one of them. But he had a quite a dent in his forehead, and it was a tiny fish. For if you had basically if you had used your hunting rifle, and it's somehow fit the fish that went well, the basically no fish remain after that shot. Yeah. But no, but we did pick it up, and bloody heck, it stank! And oh. we of course put it in a bucket of water, and that water even stank. So we had the bright idea to maybe try to make, put those water into water balloons. 
but we gave up on that quickly. Uh, yeah, you'd probably you'd probably still stink like that if you did that. <laughs> Uh, Luckily enough, he, he was able to wash it off, but I do know we put the pocket near one of the uh, pet bunnies, and they hated the stench. They panicked. Uh, so we easily took the pocket away when we realized that they were panicking from stench. The poor things. Uh, you accidentally made rotten fish perfume. <laughs> perfume. Okay. Really? Yeah. I think that's a paradox or something there, for that does not make sense. Rotting fish perfume, no, no. I think it'd be more of biological warfare. <laughs> Isn't that what all perfume is? I'm joking, of course, but I really can't stand the smell of most perfumes. Same. They, for me, many smell this, like this rare fine one that actually smells nice. Many of your smells chemical or something that's I just can't smell it, I just feel a sting in my nose. Yeah, just they're, they're just too sense. freaking strong. That or the person tr trying to use them just takes way too much. We're both. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, when you do both, that, right. that's a horrible combination. And... What the? Uh, yeah, the automated boat, you know, the, the automated raft system here. Uh, can be turned on and off. So, yeah, that... This raft is now going to take a different path, because we flipped the switch. Don't ask me how that would work. Or may maybe all of this is just Disneyland, and we're just trying to fix the... <laughs> what of the float rides? You mean uh, like the Disneyland creepy pasta? <laughs> Or the abandoned area in Disneyland, where uh, it is rumored that someone actually committed a mass murder or something? Or just a part where they haven't cleaned the water in who knows how long. Yeah, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh no, you missed it. Uh, wait, missed what? I'm thinking he means the point where we could jump off. Uh, I, I was looking for, if, for monsters on the place. See if it was a point we should jump off or not. But yeah, we just have to go around the next island again, then jump off over on that island. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of surprised by something here. There's still flowers and lily pads here. They look decently fine. Hmm. Yeah. Let me just think. Uh, I was, I was thought I remembered something about lily pads, but maybe not. I, at the very least, with with the waters I've seen at times, uh, lily pads can be pretty freaking strong with uh, when it comes to surviving. And I believe we need to have that way. And I'm pretty sure we can't make huge. that jump. Yeah. They were pretty huge and pretty damn long. I actually pull up lily pads a bloody heck they come along. Yeah, those stems do connect to the to the yeah, to the bottom of the waters or the I forget the exact words, but yeah, the, usually the they can reach all the way down to the uh, basin. Is that uh, would that be the correct words? I'm I'm, ev I'm sure, even uh, just uh, blanking uh, on the Dutch word for it. Uh, Maybe I, I, I just think it's just called the bottom. Yeah. All right. So we jump off at the first island that we can. And after this, we should be at the boss, I think. Where we will face this legendary river poisoner. The boss better not be so slumming. <laughs> Uh, that would be just that would be pretty hilarious that we get to the boss and there's just a big freaking can stuck in the uh, the water. Uh, Actually, that would probably make for just, you could probably make a an enemy out of that for Splatoon three. Oh, uh, uh, no, we are not using not using an emulator. 
No, this is the uh, this is the an original disc version of the game. I just have it. Uh, I just have OBS capture the entire monitor screen uh, with a bit of the edges cropped off away because in my view there's a bar at the top for the program and a, a bit of a gap on the sides as well. Yeah. So yeah, this uh, 20 plus year old game still works. <laughs> Which yeah, is not something we can say about some. Damn good luck, I say. <laughs> okay. And do we jump off here? Yes, On we do. Trick. I don't even know, know how to describe that, so uh, that sound. And there we go. Dudley? I'd completely forgotten that that popped up. It, it sort of looks like a something that a, would appear in a Rayman game. And I'm going to leave my mana not entirely full to see if it actually does regenerate, like uh, the character screen says. Come on. Also, uh, back on the items thing for a moment. I'm thinking about turning this into one of those throwable items. But wait, wait, what, what if it, threw, it lands in your eye? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> we better hope it comes from my left then. <laughs> yeah, or else you need to have double eye patch or a blindfold. <laughs> or both. I actually had a bit of a stupid idea about that earlier today uh, as a, a way to some to show that I'm playing a game actually I as a way to show I'm playing a game without uh, having played it before there we go don't ask me how that transports us but yeah I, I thought for games that I haven't played before I could put up you know I could put up a thumbnail Same of sorts. Hmm? That I could put up a thumbnail of sorts with uh, two <laughs> with two eye patches on. Oh dear! Hmm? What the? <laughs> and yeah, that's the river poisoner. A uh, toad that fires jellyfish. Uh, I'm guessing more like tumors. <laughs> Oop. And spits out whatever gunk that is. Okay, it is just a gunk. And it's going to keep li leaping in and out of sight the entire time, I think. Because, of course, the enemy of the fairies is a giant. Demonic frog. Uh, actually, we can change this back to the bomb and give it a bit of a surprise when it returns. Like that! <laughs> uh, two damage, come on. Of course. You know, funny, uh, earlier in the in the fairest town, I was, I was the joke that you just prayed you don't have to face a frog when you're tiny. <laughs> Little did I know you would uh, face a giant frog when you're big. Oh, hello. Oh! Okay, so we can do that to distract it. I, I don't, not sure I actually ever figured that out. Now, oh, come on, two zeros in a row. That makes this thing Unless a lot easier to deal with since it's distracted. You, you learned something new after all these years. How does that feel? <laughs> Pretty nice, actually. Oh, uh, we can't use it anymore. Oops. <laughs> uh, combine potions. 
And yeah, this thing is the toughest boss we've faced so far, in part because it's a freaking coward. And it actually seems to be unaffected by the ice spell. Okay. Uh, how do you deal with um, fireballs, then? Yeah, but I don't think it, trying to use poison against it would be a good idea. Yeah, with our luck, it would heal it. We actually have, we actually have a fair few amount of the big mana potions. Okay, just keep beating on this thing. I'm guessing we don't get any experience from the jellies. And just a little... Okay, just one more hit should do it, I think. Oh. <laughs> Two hits also works. <laughs> I've got you, you slimy beast. No more will your poison turn a river into a foul-smelling swamp. Never again. Melvin! How can we ever thank you for all your heroic deeds? Not only have you killed the river poisoner, you've really saved the whole and I see someone is appreciating that uh, new gear we installed into his light organ. <laughs> Crunch. Mel, I don't know where your journey will take you, but our best wishes go with you. And look after Horpak's crystal. It seems to be bound up with you and your fate somehow. The yellow crystal has confirmed my suspicions. I'm determined to get going again as soon as I can to find out if there are any other artifacts from the past which can tell me anything. Did you hear that? She said something about a crystal. Our little hero, he obviously has one. I wonder how much it would be worth, such a crystal. Has he got any more of them? There are rumors there are several of these crystals in Gothop. You're right, the little chap could be very useful to us. Perhaps he could lead us to other artifacts. We might pick up something. <laughs> We also say they, never, they didn't slurp until that. As much. So, you're Melvin. Well, my companions and I, we want to make you an offer, which will definitely not do you any harm. Now the forest has been saved, and we had a hand in this. My friends and I have decided it's time to move on. As it happens, our journey will take us through the canyon. An inhospitable area, very dangerous to the unwary. So, we thought, now that we know you're looking for certain crystalline artifacts from the past, and seeing that we also know that something very similar was found in an old mine in the canyon many years ago, perhaps we might offer to accompany you. Look, it'd be better for all of us. We can show you the way, and you can help protect us simple merchants with your weapons. If we happen to come across any nasty monsters, we don't want to impose. We're only doing this for your own good. Quite a generous offer, don't you think? <laughs> totally not suspicious with how he's laying it on so thick you could put an extra sandwich slice <laughs> inst instead of all of the buttering up he's trying that 
Sounds very sensible. It's certainly better to travel together these days, even if you know the area. Okay, I'm ready to set off as soon as you like. That sounds very sensible. All the best, Mel. We'll never forget you. Thank you, sweet princess. I will never forget the fairy kingdom and the magical beings who live there. I wish you all the luck in the world. Yeah, this this <laughs> this strangely democratic <laughs> fairy kingdom. <laughs> oh, well, dear. let's get to it. Great tasks are in store for us. And it's not so level, sorry. It, oh dear. Uh, what the heck is that? <laughs> it's uh, a big unit of a beast. If this is the canyon, then Torlor's description was accurate for a change. It really isn't very inviting here. Just dust and sand, and the sun beats down mercilessly on the dry ground. I can't imagine anyone wanting to live here, unless of course there's a mine here. But what else can I do but follow every clue to another crystal of eternity? Anyway, I can't shake off the feeling that Torlor isn't being honest with me. I mean... Why does he want to get rid of me right now? Well, I'm sure I'll find that out soon as well. Okay, so I was wrong that they... Well, Melvin calls them his crystals of eternity. He put them in post on that. And... Yeah, it, it, it is understandable that this game... It, it isn't an amazing game. It's, it's still a, a good enough game, I'd say. And this is probably the first game in which I got introduced to 3D graphics like that. So that did make it stick out to me. Yeah. And Plus, it's always it fun really to know unique. an obscure game. Yeah. Also, it's really unique. Well, again, for the sake of the meme, three years and up. Yeah. And I think the rest of the many countries did not agree. Yep. That was a long and tiring ride, even for a sack. I think we should remain here for the rest of the day and avoid the worst of the heat. First, we'll get the pop-ups. Do you want to familiarize yourself with the area and help secure the camp? Perhaps you'll find something interesting. <laughs> I've got some goods here. Okay, let's just skip that before he makes us nauseous with the sound. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing he didn't sound as uh, snotty earlier, maybe because yeah, the other two shark we'd met before him uh, we're in pretty we're pretty in distress so it could have also been just it could also be that they get more uh, yeah mucusy when they get agitated and I'm guessing Torlor might be getting a bit worked up on the uh, plotting to backstab us and, yeah. oh, you think that's look oh the ancient child snock the very first one in the in we met Basically, s slurping, snorking, and everything else. Almost every second word. Yep. 
And yeah, we a cube that increases our constitution, so let's just grab that. Okay. I I'm guessing I'm guessing the cube that we probably would have been able to buy from Agatha or Lornisera would have been a magic one since well fairies and all that. And I believe with Pop Hops he believe he means these things here. Possibly. We'll set up camp here for a while. The Pop Hops need at least a day's rest. Will you help secure the camp? Have a little look around if you like. We've got the time. <laughs> Even with that laugh, this guy is a lot more subtle about it. And oh, of course, where there's a desert or a dry area, there are scorpions. A lot of scorpions. <laughs> also, these things. Which are basically graboids. Oh no! And oh yeah, that, this, this could could have taken inspiration from Graboid or Dune, for the the old Dune game and Graboid movie had already been released by this point. Yeah, I think they both released in the eighties or so. And this released in the nineties. The tremors were about in the nineties. Dune a bit before nineties. Okay, so close enough. This game did release at the end of the 90s, and oh, I forgot about those things. Did that yeah, just... Are... Go ahead. Did that thing just drop uh, shit? No, it dropped a rock. Uh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Actually, no, rock is worse. Though, uh, with how things have been going, it... <laughs> it could have just as well been it that it's just trying to shit on your head. Uh, I already told a, uh, a friend uh, two days ago that we probably should be happy that we don't have some terror source in our life like was a quatless. So <laughs> let's be honest, you don't want that shit in your car. Yeah. Now, now I'm actually wondering if that's a joke they're going to make hello in uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Well, they did it in live action Fred Flamestones. <laughs> People saw a big flying pterodactyl and scream, look out, everyone panics, everyone hides, and it takes a <laughs> horrifying white area all over a car. I, I think I gagged. But I saw that as a kid. So a quattro carpet bombing. Yeah, I no kidding you may say that it it literally drowned the car. Damn. Another portal for which I need an eye stone. Do we already have the blue one in the collection? Nope. But I also would hate to be the caiman that would have to clean it. <laughs> I'd, I'd say just abandon the entire area and light it on fire and just never return to it. Yeah, probably. Ugh. Okay, let's deal with you. I don't think we can deal with the flyers. Because I, I'm pretty sure the, the bow and arrow doesn't actually shoot upwards. Weird. Okay. I just realized, I think I actually had a curious... Fury people made up of Fred Flintstones. Okay. Apparently some people... Apparently also popular theory, I don't know if it's true or not. The few people theorize that the Flintstones is not set in the past, but set in the future. Okay. That, uh, it would explain is... some of the uh, more anachronistic, is that the right words? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. That they're also advanced, it looks primitive, and they are extremely strong if you think about it. True. But it, but, it would explain why they would quote unquote know or, or have stuff like, uh, uh, yeah, TV and such. Yeah. But considering they're making a new series with uh, 
uh, brother, what was the name of uh, Fred's daughter? Uh, Pebbles. Pebbles, yes. She's getting her own show. And it's gonna no longer be in the Stone Age, but in the beginning of the Copper or Bronze Age. Okay. But they're still gonna have mammoths and all, but also apparently it's gonna be more mature. Okay, it won't be the first time that Pebbles got a, or her own show. Or, well, she and uh, Bam Bam. Because oh. uh, you know all those Scooby Doo copycats that came out after Scooby Doo? And spin offs. Yeah. Uh, well, the Flintstones got their own <laughs> version of that as well. Yeah, I, I, I like that show. For That one was actually a spin off that was good, along with Captain Caveman. Yeah, <laughs> Captain Caveman is just a meme on its own. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. I, I, I disliked Flintstone, even as a kid. But I love the spin offs with Captain Caveman and Pebbles of Elma when they were more teenagers, I think. Yep. And I just realized we do have a, a window of opportunity to kill these things as they go to collect their rocks. Wait, they actually... Okay, that's new. No, and... no, no things, flying things drop rocks, they normally don't pick them up. They just either spawn new ones from the in the claws, simply. Yep. And those wings are actually fake as well. <laughs> you know, they're just running around, running around in a panic over there. Uh, what the heck? There we go. But yeah, I think people... The, the, the one I got the news from is from a person I don't trust. Arc yep. Warhammer. So okay. I'll show how much bullshit he was bringing up. But I'm unsure if that show will be popular or not, since it's aimed to be more for a mature audience. But again, you just could be an arc, just really make it sound bad. Yeah. And uh, open wide. <laughs> oh no. Except, except your uh, half, except your steamer dreamer medicine monkey. <laughs> Yeah, oh uh, but uh, from what I was told, it seemed to be the Pebble show was gonna be something similar like a prehistoric sex in the city. Okay. Because I'm a bit unsure if that's what people would really want. And, uh, Schnurzel, uh, are we too late for that trick now, or will it be for the next air one? Because I wasn't... <laughs> I. I wasn't paying attention to the chat much there. Sorry about that. Wait, can you go outside it? Uh, return out? You can go back, you can go back. All right. Yeah, that okay. we can. Enter right. to the other map again. Uh, oh, we, we have to do that. We, we, we just done that, all right. Save. Okay. Probably because this is probably going to break something. All right. Okay. Show us a voice <laughs> schnock. Uh, Snurkshell of the uh, tainted dark forest. <laughs> what is I, your I, I wisdom? Think, I just tend to say snook. This is a type of snake. Non venomous. Jump and attack just before you enter. Oh, oh, wait, was this? No, it was already. I'm guessing we did. I, I'm guessing I attacked too early there. Oh, I think I s incorrect. Wait, let me guess here. Was he almost about to land on the platform? No, I'm guessing something else is supposed to happen. Okay, I'll keep trying a few more times. If it's supposed to be obvious, then we'll see. Hmm. Let's see, what if I jump in closer? I keep hitting the roof. Hmm. 
had the hours on the floor again there. In the oh, last moment, attack midair. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I think you're supposed to smash its face. Yeah, it's not the... That was passing by while jumping. That's... I... Th nope. Hmm. Nope. Oh, last moment made that attack. Yeah. Okay, I'm at... I'm... I think I'm getting the attack right, but it's not triggering. Or maybe I just bump my head too much and end up on the floor. Hmm. Try again when falling. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's give this a few more minutes. No, that was jumped in. Hmm. Like that? Yes. Okay. Nope. I'm guessing it's supposed to launch me or something or put me somewhere else. Hmm. We can jump. Well, we can't seem to jump through the monkey face. Or is that the trick that you're talking about? The phasing through the face? Phasing through the fra <laughs> face. <laughs> Sounds like a Star Trek quote. For hmm. further away, it's easier. All right. Not seeming to have much luck with this trick. Okay. Uh, is this trick supposed to work on perhaps... I'm not... I was about to ask if it should work on the GOG version, but I'm not even sure if this game is on GOG. Hmm. Was not, yeah, I think you say it was not on GOG or Steam. It's definitely not on Steam, of that I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay, let's take a bit of a look. Okay, that is the exact point where we pass through. Let's give this a few more tries before we have to give up. Hmm. I, I can hear it make the swing and um, no, no, the swing noise on the last moment, but it's not actually doing the animation. Swing and miss. Okay, what exactly is it supposed to do? You don't have to say exactly what it does, more like a, a hint, like it's supposed to teleport or throw or something like that. Because it doesn't seem to want to work at the moment. There's a lot of fossils here! Of ammonites. At least I think it's ammonite fossils. Yeah, I I don't think I can pull this off. I don't have the uh, I don't have the speedrunner timing for this. I think. So sorry about that. Uh, uh seep. Oh, which I think means it's just supposed to launch us somewhere. Uh, it's got schnorkel warp and it's a speedrun strat. Wait, this game has speedrun strats? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm honestly surprised at that, but then again, 
I I have heard that uh, speedrunners like to find obscure games to get world records on and such. Yes, because they're so obscure and like unlikely that someone's gonna st stay, take the record. Yeah. Okay, that that's impressive. Congrats! But if you're lying, we will, we will uh, tickle you with feathers. <laughs> and put you into the comfy chair. And poke you with pillows. Hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely don't have the reflexes for speedrunning or even the patience. Uh, uh, I, I had heard about quite a story... Uh, <clears throat> I had heard about quite a story with uh, the Hobbit game. About uh, you know, a community of speedrunners that uh, gained over time. Because apparently that... Uh, that game was... Uh, had some pretty... Well, I wouldn't say flaws, but people kept finding new and new ways to get through things speedier. I actually thought it was a Hobbit game, a old one, even, before yep. they even made the movies. Yep, I believe it was a GameCube. Yeah, well, it had at least a GameCube version, I think. It also had a PlayStation. Hmm. I just forgot it was PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. Okay. Uh, so what are some other... Oh. So, most uh, people listen to... Oh, sorry. What? Uh, uh, at Snurksel, uh, what other tricks would there be, or would we have been able to pull off in previous levels, perhaps, then? Let's see, this way we can just get on its own. Dangerously adorable? Uh, if you would guess, what do you think is the world record time? That depends on if you're talking... Uh, glitch... Yeah, there's, there's multiple... Oh. What in the world was that? What's happening to me? Is this the pain of losing my parents, or the loneliness of this inhospitable region which conjures up visions to deceive me? I saw a young man with dreamer's ears wearing a cape. I must decide soon on my future home. All this hanging about in the scorching heat is driving me crazy! Yay! So now we know where she's from. <laughs> and yeah, that's the that's the second character on the <laughs> on the cover art that's been on the right uh, next to me here all this time and uh, as I was saying it speedruns uh, times can depend a lot on what type like uh, no glitches glitches uh, there's probably a there's also any percents but I very much doubt that it would be any percent runs of this or well hundred percent runs of this so I'm guessing somewhere between an hour or two or something. Okay. I think... Here's the thing about me and speedrunners. I, I can respect them. Their skill in finishing game quickly, but at the same time... You won't see me do it at all for... I won't even bother watching speedrunners for sense. I feel like you know, speedrunning a game... Is, feels like it's sort of just missing the point and such, like kind of removes the fun, for me at least. Uh, I, I agree mostly on that, but I think it's... Uh, I think uh, the one part of the fun of speedrunners, uh, or speed... Uh, that from what I've heard, some of the fun that speedrunners have in speedrunning is to get uh, to know their, the games they like, uh, as much as possible, like uh, knowing it down to its DNA, sort of like. But yeah, I, I I do have to agree a bit on that. It seems to not really defeat the point, but it seems like uh, spending a lot of time on finishing something you know, very quickly. That's <laughs> to me that seems a bit paradoxical. <laughs> yeah, like 
I think if you, you play your game, uh, the game a few times before speedrunning as a challenge, that I can get. But they never get the people that are speedrunning that starts a game they never played before to on the first try do a speedrun. Yeah, I, I very much don't that, get that, many I, do it that way. Nah, not many, but there are. Uh, we've got all some around, and I don't get those at all. I, I do, yeah, I do, yeah, I have tried in some games to beat them fast, uh, but I'm, I'm not the type to put in days upon days or weeks upon weeks to try and whittle uh, a time down by the seconds or fractions of seconds. Uh, yeah. yeah. It would just drive me mad with this, uh, just the attempting. Yeah. Uh, what the? Uh, okay, apparently it took you, he, it's 2 hours 41, wait, 2 hours and 41 minutes? Yep. And he learned this during the quarantine. Okay, I, I, I believe a lot of new Let's Play, not Let's Players, is speedrunners came up during, you know, or popped up during the quarantine because, yeah, if you're stuck at home, you might as well play a game, uh, well, play games over and over. Yeah, uh, so yeah. many Ammonites! <laughs> yeah, I, I can definitely appreciate the skill it takes to speedrun something really, really, really freaking fast. Uh, but I just... Uh, I'm not, I am not the type of person to try for it myself. Like, like I said, I'll try to finish some games in a speedy enough way or to challenge myself, but not to the extent that it... I would be grinding my bones down to dust for it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I can respect them, I will not do it. But I, I, even, I think part of the reason I don't like speedrun is, as a kid, there was a, a moment that I with kids said, uh, talked about, all right, how quickly do you finish this game? And it was a, like a dragon right to finish a game first and all that. Which I almost followed, but then later, about a year or so, uh, it was still going on. Then else, two people asked me that, no, I'm not gonna bother, I actually care for the story. For I realized that trying to finish a game quickly kind of ruined it. And when I actually, and I started to notice that when I started to slow down and actually pay attention to the story, I realized, huh, the story's actually good. Why, why, why am I rushing this again? Yeah, I, I think you named it there correctly, that, uh... That's not uh, that's not trying to speed run a game. That's just uh, rushing through it. Yeah, but it was something similar to speed running. Let's see. This game is a big part of my childhood. It. That uh, yeah, I'll finish up first. Uh, yeah. This game is a big part of my childhood. That's why I was motivated to learn it and discover strats. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I've said it a few times. I think as well. This is one of the games that I grew up with. And, yeah, it was likely the first game where I was introduced to CGI cutscenes like that. Hmm. I'm not sure which was my introduction to CGI cutscenes. Maybe... Oh, wait, no, not Warcraft 2, since the CGI cutscenes were not there on the emulator. Okay. Mm, I remember playing Warcraft 3 pretty early as well, so it could have been combined with this that I got introduced to the style. Yeah, I, Warcraft 3, bloody. Uh, that one I played too much over the years. <laughs> Almost religiously. Do I most think of the things to the world. Sort of lever here. The, the map customization. Uh, it has a very good map, map making system. Yep, Dota and all that spawned from that. <laughs> Yeah, do I rarely play to those? Hmm. My brothers love those, and I tell, and I kind of developed my early dislike from for, uh, a tower defense. But that's what they all, all only want to play: Dota and tower defense. Only, only that, and that just nope. And I was so obsessed with that. One time, I was trying to go fog. As soon as I see my twin go to my room and try to carry my PC onto his LAN party. And I told him, what are you doing? Uh, you're not using a computer, so I thought could bore it. I'm cooking food, put it back! 
I was really annoyed with that. He actually. Yeah. I was to use the computer. I wasn't to use. Like he took a moment to cook food. And he to use that situation to steal a PC. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, and. Uh. It, oh, it's so annoying. But he actually put it back and uh, uh, reconnected it all again, all about bloody heck. Uh, so like a, some real Tom and Jerry shit. Yeah, like, I love my twin, but he had some really dick moves sometimes. <laughs> Isn't that the part of being a twin? <laughs> Annoying your other half. A little, but there's a, a, a probably a limit. Every time I think I've wiped these things out, another one popped up. That's but, what they call them, a pest. Yeah, good one there, actually. But yeah, I, I can understand wanting to under, well, get to know a game to its core, but to me, personally, it, that feels like a, yeah, it, it would dispel some of the mystique about uh, the game. That it would get too technical to really... Uh, not re to not like it, not not that I wouldn't like it anymore, but it would just be a bit of a too much information sort of thing. Yeah, I, I've been always interested in games lore. Anything else besides the lore and story is just uh, a little bit extra. And so many. Okay, with all this ammonize about, this definitely has been a the the bottom of an ocean. Probably. And where the hell am I going to find a lever? Because we need one to get the platforms moving. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I, I'll... After this stream, or at least in the weekend, uh, I'll go look up that... Uh, yeah, I'll go look up that speedrun of yours then, Snarksel. It'll be interesting to see just how far you can break this game, because... Just because I'm not interested in speedrunning, doesn't mean, or maybe not. Yeah. Just because I'm not interested in speedrunning myself, doesn't mean I don't, uh, I can't appreciate the work of speedrunners. They're mostly just second hands. Oh dear. Uh, f feel free to link it in the chat, uh, actually. Uh, I won't be able to use it from there, uh, though, but anyone else who might be watching now. Could take a look then. So how the hell are we going to get up? I think we need to get the platforms moving to get on on the ledge to get that blue crystal. Dreamer Town is completely glitch free, by the way. Okay, it is the start of the game, so it would get the most polishing. And well, yeah, it is strictly there scripted. There are a lot of games where. It's it's a relatively bug free except the starting area in rare cases. Right bound so this I think, way. Mm -hmm. I think most of them have been early access games, so they got fixed fixed out on that at least. Hmm. Do I do think that there is some rare old games where the, the buggiest part is the earliest game. That they can get so bugged out that you can't even continue the game at all. Okay. But again, rare. Hmm. Extremely rare. Okay, uh, any hints on where the hell this freaking lever is supposed to be? Or do I need to do something else first? Like, get to that blue crystal in the wall somehow first? <laughs> Maybe hmm. some of the spirits of the Ammonites and ask them. It's below the yellow eyes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now I just need to find which one has the yellow eye. There's one around here. Yeah, that's the green-eyed one. So that means it's going to be that one over there, likely. Sounds almost like a phrase. The yellow eye. Oh, oh, behind. So we need a yellow crystal. Hmm. Okay, but is. I haven't seen Hit one. behind you. That it's all that one's in use in the thing already, and it has two eyes. 
Yeah, so we need to find a yellow one to fit in there. Oh, I thought it was one of those... Or I thought it was a story one. So, okay, it's on this map, so we can find it then. Hmm. I've probably been running past it like five times already now because I've mostly been skirting the edge of the map and less so the inner area. Hmm. Is that rock able to be blown up? Actually, now that you mention it, I don't re actually recall how we're supposed to move this thing, so let's give it a try. Well, there's the answer. Wait, hold on. I don't think that's a rock. Someone about that looks more alive. It's not a giant armadillo. I don't think it is. I don't remember fighting a, a giant armadillo in this game. Well, like not an armadillo Soko says, that probably was not, not even known back then. And if you wonder what the armadillo Soko is, it's literally, if you translate the name, armadillo crocodile. Okay, I'll... Actually, I'll just do a print screen at the moment, and then I'll copy over the... <clears throat> I'll copy over the URL manually later. Where the hell is that blasted crystal? We've already been here. Hmm. There's the green one, uh, gates. I saw a blue crystal in the wall at some point. Hmm. What the... Oh, I think I saw some... Other things I'm on the Ammonites now. I saw skulls, massive, big teeth reptile skulls. Yeah, I believe there's a trilobite behind that bit of tree there. Yeah, uh, oh, actually, no, that's a ribcage east. because there's a skull in there and a claw. Oh, yeah, and there's a big one of a fur east that looks like a T Rex skull. Okay. Hmm. Where the... Actually, do we need to get behind the rock first to get this all started? Hmm. Let's see, is there any way to get up here? Oh, crystal! Yeah, it's blue a crystal. blue one though. And we need to get a... We need to get up here first. Okay, we're not getting there yet. Hmm. And we are running out of time. Yeah. Where the hell is this bloody crystal? Do we need to dig I'm guessing it it's out? supposed to be in the wall somewhere. So let's get back up again. Oh, that, that is a T-Rex skull. Uh, that one, yeah. Oh, there was another one there, all right. I'm guessing there are a bunch of them, like there's another. Okay. And another. Yeah, the Tron boss maybe think, all right, used to be a C, but now, yeah, I think they, they don't understand uh, how fossil layers work. Well, it could be that it was a C at one point, then dried up. Uh, yeah. Became oh, there it is, the freaking thing. Eye stone. I think I should definitely take it with me, but how can I get it out of the wall? Boom. Boom. There we go. I, I just didn't go up here enough to get to the freaking thing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's a, a good few minutes wasted. But yeah, at least we can get that gate open. But we'll have to do call it pretty soon after that, and we're going the wrong way, because this is going to be blocked. What a victory sandwich! <laughs> yeah, I should still have some egg cakes in my bag from uh, lunch. Egg... 
pancakes. That, uh, that, yeah. that still sounds weird to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, in Dutch they're called Eierkuchen. And basically they're... Yeah, there, there is no way, you know, there is really no way to say it a bit more accurately, but the word cook or cook, K O E K, is basically like a bigger version of a cookie. Like, a, in that way, it would be a cook, you could say. And yeah, basically, Eierkuchen egg cakes would, you know, are, yeah, big soft cookies soft and hard. It depends a bit on how they are made. And um, yeah, that would be the German version of it, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, Remy, I, I think I told you to not say that word around Swedes. <laughs> yeah. So that might be misheard badly. <laughs> Very badly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forget oh, specifically oh. what you said it was, but it's pretty freaking <laughs> bad. Yes, they, they, thought they would. In worst case, they may wonder what about cocks are you talking about? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go a little bit longer because I wasted so much time in this area, and let's not fall the hell back down. Hmm. Yep. What can I use now to get? Actually, I think, but it, 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 some might mishear you, uh, you, and they mishear you say, they may actually think you say, but it doesn't translate as hello cock. <laughs> Which I think you hit the problem. So you, you, could, could, you could basically use it as a different version of hello dickhead. Yeah, basically. So um, yeah, there's the second uh, character on the cover, like 10 hours in. Let me guess. Consider how old this game is. Love interest? Uh, you'll find out. Uh, you were probably thinking in the next stream there, but no, let's actually go talk with her. And then we'll end the stream. Hey, stop! Who are you? How did you get in here without my permission? What do you think you're doing just walking in here? Has no one taught you any manners? What do you want? Oh no! I don't believe it! Those damn scorpions are in my garden again! It's incredible! How many times have I driven them out? I could, but this is an ideal opportunity for my uninvited guest to prove himself. Well then, young hero, if you want to stay with me, you know what you have to do. Rid me of this plague of scorpions, and we'll see. What yeah, this is Talis, and uh, yeah, the typical uh, adventure hero goes into everyone's houses called out hard. <laughs> Yeah, like, her voice is good, her speech is good, but the dialogue itself... Like, who wrote this? Uh, that, someone that... German. No, no, I think it was a very bad translation and formulation. Like, that, that just sounded so good to listen to. Okay, like, let's see if she... What the heck? Like, I, I get it, there was like, supposed to be a joke and all, but... It's still the yoke almost fell flat with just how crunched up everything felt. Well, that wasn't so heroic, really. I can still see a couple of scorpions. Shall I help you out with my sling, or can you deal with them on your own? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a case where I feel like the voice actress, actress just were giving bad dialogue to work with. Yeah, but they're still doing their best. Yeah, I'll be pressed for that at least. But yeah, we'll have to call it there though. 
And Take let's me. see. I'm trying to remember how many levels there are after this. Uh, but we should still be do at this game for like a three, four days. more streams or so. All right, twenty streams. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, yeah, we'll have to call it here. I haven't raided anyone in a while, so let's do. Let's see if there's anyone on who might be of interest. We'll have to exit this to uh, well go take a look. Again, and... you, you you too kind and sweet to raid anyone. I hope to see, I can't. It's a struggle to see you pick up an axe and pillars a village. Uh, but yeah, uh, if anyone is interested in joining the Discord I have set up, it's not very active, but anyone who wants to spend some time there and get live notifications when I stream, uh, you're welcome to visit. Just uh, just put in the, in the command... Uh, exclamation point D in the chat and it should bring up a link should because I think in the past it hasn't really actually I could I could just do that myself at the moment with the chatty program uh, we're there thank you whoever did that uh, let's see let's bring up a browser which I have twitch on and let's see new Gundam Corvel Viking blonde and Zoe are people I'm following who are actively streaming at the moment so let's see anyone else that's on as the <laughs> as the browser tries to load in twitch guess which is being pretty slow with come on i probably should put in a browser yeah i should probably install a browser specifically for twitch and streaming work because this thing is a bit uh crowded i'll say i'll not give an, ac an accurate number of tabs probably because i couldn't count them quickly in a, a few seconds. Okay, I think it's just stuck, so let's go here. Uh, let's see, Soviet Womble, Viking Blonde, New Gundam, Armchair General, who is playing... Oh, you might like this. Uh, Total Warhammer 3. <laughs> uh, so look forward to when Immortal Empires comes. The beta is soon coming. I, I like yeah. the game. But I agree with Mena that it had a very rough start. But I think it's mostly due to... Yeah. Many game industry has suffered due to the COVID. Yeah. Okay, so let's take the name here. Then open up a tab to actually look at my own channel going on. <laughs> so I can actually join the raid as well. So, le slash raid armchair general. Anyone who wants to stick around for that, uh, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, for anyone else, uh, thank you for watching now or later. Thank you for chatting along, uh, Schnurksel and uh, Noon. And anyone else who had who doesn't have a <clears throat> who doesn't have an account or that's being counted or anything, or watching later, thank you as well. And of course, thank you as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my dear friend, Hillian. <laughs> and yeah, um, this weekend we should still be able to stream according to schedule, but past that I'll really have to look at how to think, at how to change things up and adapt them to my working schedule. So yeah, I'll put up, I'll try to put up a schedule that I'll try to keep to, which will be the normal one, but. Uh, for each week, I'll try to put up more accurate uh, estimations. But yeah, yeah they'll they, have to they, wait for next week. Yeah, they may, they may change from week to week, depending on situation. Yeah. So for now, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for rabid seagulls.